and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, May 3rd, 2019, and we are so excited to have in studio Field Medic. Kevin, you can go into your first three tunes. guitar which I just learned belongs to Derek yeah the, the Polaroid is Derek's signature steez I love it where's the uh, photo from I'm not sure he's been into astral projecting lately so maybe it's somewhere on the astral plane All right. we're tuned here here we go this one's called the bottles my lover she's just my friend
to recover impossible to mend so the bottle's my doctor and my prescription
Hi. You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're here with Field Medic. So, Kevin, I first wanted to ask you about your book of, I'm assuming it's poems because it says haiku on it. Yeah. You want to talk a little bit about that? Uh, so I've been putting out zines um, called Hella Haiku. There's been 10 editions, little paper zines that I make myself. And so when we were making this new album, we wanted to make something kind of special. So I put them all into an actual book. It's a short book, but... That's awesome. Uh, so all so, the zines are in so one book So most now. of them, all the good ones. Yeah. Sometimes I crank out the zines really fast, so some of the haiku aren't that good. But I took all the best ones and comprised it into a first volume just called Hella Haiku and other selected works. I love so it. So there's a couple poems at the end as well. So do you have people contribute to it, or are you the sole writer? I'm the sole author of awesome. this one. Well, if you're on following Kevin on the Field Medic Tour... You should, I'm assuming these are at the merch table. Yeah, please pick up my book. Yeah, do so. Make my publisher happy. Yes, and your new album, Fade Into the Dawn, has recently come out. Yeah. Um, what is the recording process like for you? Because you have a really unique kind of sonic quality. I'm wondering how you go about doing that. Um, so everything I did prior to that album, I just did live to a four track, to cassette. Um, very simple. Yeah. I, don't, I get kind of freaked out when I'm recording, so I prefer to just do it really fast. And that was kind of how it went for this album too. All the songs, all the songs that have drums on them, real drums, I just recorded live in the room with the person that was playing. Um, this next song I'm gonna play is the only one I did on the four track, which is with a beat, and then I played live to a mic. Mostly Super just, awesome. I just kind of record really fast, which may or may not be a good thing. I don't know. I just can't. I get spooked out when I'm recording, so... Yeah, I think it helps not to overthink some of the things, you mm -hmm. know? Because if you do it so many times, you'll become a perfectionist about it. Yeah, I, do, I never do any more than three takes. That's a really cool That's philosophy, actually. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like to uh, do a take, or do exactly three takes, and go outside and smoke, and think about it, maybe take a walk, forget about what I might have done wrong yeah. in each take, and then come back and listen, and then I just pick one. And you see which one's the most, where the magic is most yeah, preserved. Yeah, exactly. Just where the feeling is. Yeah. I think that's what matters more than perfection, because perfection's not even possible. Yeah, and that's all anybody really wants to hear anyway, so. Mm -hmm. um, for this next one, Henna Tattoo, there's an awesome music video out for this one, so check it out. We're about to hear it. Hell Live yeah. on Audio Trip. <laughs> Is it gonna come true if I say it? Rolling blackouts in your heart Give you a 
in a tattoo and it's fading Give you a hint a tattoo and it's fading And my hint a tattoo and it's fading Thank you We're gonna move on to a song for all you lovers out there it's called You, You, You. All I ever needed was your matchstick, mama. Take my wrongs and make them right. Take my darkness and make it bright. Give your old boy a cigarette a light. I want you, you, you to hold. see through my heart's disguise I want you All I ever needed was your Siamese kiss To cleanse me of this spookiness To clear the fog, see through the mist To give my sorrow a plot twist I want you, you, you Stand with me through the fright I want a you, you, you To swing with me through the noontime sky I want you Loving you Sure makes me afraid A lose We kissed, I lost my choice to be choosing And no one else would do All I ever needed was your red wine voice it Comes out when it's late and we're getting close And when I say let's take off all our clothes It's cause I'm a bumblebee, baby your rose, I want you, you, you To love me till daylight I want you, you, you To wake up bundled up beside I want you Loving you Sure makes me afraid A lose We kissed, I lost my choice to be choosing And no one else would do No one else but baby you Baby you No one else but baby you This song's gonna be the last song I do with my boombox, my drummer, and I just wanna do a quick shout out. I actually just got this boombox two days ago at Sabres. So this is his first time appearing live on camera. And I think he looks pretty handsome if you ask me. He does. All right, this song's called Used to Be a Romantic. I need a cigarette 
Those fuckers talked over my whole set But I don't have any time to reflect I gotta sell some shirts to try and make the rent I think I'm sick of transit My anxiety's spinning on a compass I used to be a romantic Now I'm a dude in a laminate I can't see shit, I'm blinded by the light I swore that I'd quit, but I need a drink tonight I'm on the road with no one I love in sight I swore that I'd quit, but I need a drink tonight So, Kevin, what is the longest that you have toured, and what do you love and or hate about it? Because <laughs> um, I know you've done a lot of touring. I did a tour with this band called Remo Drive, and that tour was a month long, and then we came back for one week, and then I immediately had to go to the UK with them for almost two weeks. So it felt like I was on tour for a month and a half. Yeah. Which was kind of gnarly. I, I like, I feel like... Uh, it's hard to describe what it feels like. There's a part of it that's really nice because every day you're uh, doing your job, you know, going and playing for people, and that's really fun. But driving for a really long time and um, getting super drunk at the show and then being really hungover and then driving for a really long time is kind of difficult. Definitely. And also, you know, some shows are better than others. Um, what it's do just, you do when the fuckers talk over your whole set? <laughs> I just get off stage and I write that song that I just played. Yeah. I don't I don't really get like super upset when that happens. It's just a weird a strange phenomenon that I felt like I had to speak on. Um, yeah. If if the fuckers are talking over my whole set, I'm just like whatever. I'm just going to play. I I don't want to make a scene, you know. Yeah, I don't I feel like you know, I don't feel uh, like people have to listen if they don't feel like it. So, I just take a mental note and then I secretly write a track. A diss track. Yeah, a diss track. <laughs> well, I know it's like a really strange feeling when that happens because, you know, you try to focus on the emotions of what you're doing, but you realize that you're in a space. Yeah, touring is wild. Yeah, it's crazy. But, you know, I always dread it before I leave, but then I always really enjoy it. Like, I'm having a great time right now, so. So are we. It's great. I'm looking in the control room. Looks like they're having a good time. Are they having a good time in they're there? They're giving us two thumbs okay. up. Actually, three Whoa, thumbs up. Whoa, and two hang looses. Ooh. That's a good sign. Rock and roll. So, oh yeah, I forgot to ask you. How do uh, you like living in L.A. and how do you like living with Derek? Uh, living in L.A. is pretty cool. It's really nice weather all the time. What they say is true. Yeah. 
we have this nice house. We live in Burbank, and so Derek converted the garage into a studio. So we pretty much have a fully functioning, fairly platinum studio just awesome. in our backyard. And living with Derek is great. I'm going to pretend like I can see him over there. Um, I can see him. Now he's standing up and he's blowing <laughs> you a kiss. Okay, good. <laughs> Derek and I have been living together for a really long time. We lived together in San Francisco as well. We have a phrase that it takes two. Um, we've, been, we've been building and growing in music together for forever. So I yeah. couldn't do it without him. He's my best man. You're on he's tour the, now with him too, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's the greatest man I've ever known. That's awesome. Lots of love to Derek right now. Yeah. Also, if you're in Chicago tonight, they are both playing at Subterranean in the downstairs yeah. part of the venue. It's going to be amazing. So please check that out. Hell yeah. You want to do your last two? Yeah, I just got two more here. Sounds good. This first song is called Mood Ring Baby. So you want to get close.
Can I do one more song for you guys? Just gotta tune this up, actually. Thanks to Audio Tree for having me. It's been a great time. Thanks to our chat room that I hope is having a really nice time. They're having a party right now as we speak. So sick. Okay. This last song is called Tombstone Poetry. Tell me now, dog. Audio Tree Live. This has been a session with <laughs> Field Medic. Um, to wrap up, I want to give you a thanks and a thanks to everyone else in the studio, um, sound engineers, camera lighting crew, and all of you for watching. If you liked what you heard, you can download or stream this session in a few weeks when it comes out on Spotify, Bandcamp, iTunes, and other streaming services. From all of us here at Audio Tree Live, thanks for watching. And that's it. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?